Jerome, a uh, 2-2 draw with Portsmouth. Tell me about it. We, uh, I think we're quite disappointed not to walk away with the three points because I thought that throughout the game until the pen really was just dominating. And I thought that was... They didn't, they, I, thought, I didn't think they was going to score at all. I thought it was even going to come away with a clean sheet, to be honest. But, yeah, it's quite disappointing. But at least we didn't lose, so, yeah. And, of course, uh, you scored the equalising goal. I think that's your first uh, competitive professional goal, so congratulations. Uh, tell us a little bit about how it came about. Yeah, to be honest, George, I think he whipped it in back post and <laughs> it fell to Dom. And he just was able to head it and I just pushed it in, really. So, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it, it felt like um, his, you should be the player nodding it into Dom, but um, he did a good job, and, and you obviously turned it in. How um, how disappointing, I guess, is it in a way that you did it in front of an empty stadium, given that it's your first ever professional goal? Yeah, uh, it's quite weird, really. <laughs> we just say your teammates, and well, that's really it. But obviously, to just get on with it, I think I'm just getting used to the no fans. But disappointing not to have them. I'm just waiting for them to come back, really. Yeah. We spoke to you, uh, I think, before the Charlton game, and you said then that y- you felt that no uh, team at this level was was better than you. We, you know, we can compete with everybody, and, and since then we've won there and, and drawn with a good Portsmouth team. So I guess you've been proven right, haven't you? Yeah, no, hundred percent. As I said, there's no team that I think is better than us, and I think we showed that again because we disappointed not to walk away with three points against a good Portsmouth side. So, yeah. You had to mark um, John Marquis, who's the uh, leading scorer in the division. How did you find that experience? That was a good experience, to be honest. A good test. We was both at it sometimes, but yeah, I thought I marked him well. Obviously, you got a pen, and I thought I could do it about that. But yeah, that no, was a good experience. I thought I'd done well. We had quite a, a, a youthful back line again today. We have had for the last few games, but we kind of um, you up against some good senior pros today. You learn a lot from those experiences, but I guess you also learn a lot from fighting back from being behind. What, what do you take? Do you take a lot of confidence from that? Yeah, no, hundred uh, percent. I think we're just all learning from each other. Me, Kel, Will, uh, and even Coops in the goal. Uh, learning from Will with a bit more experience. But we just keep talking and every game I think we're getting stronger and stronger because we're coming against better opposition, better attackers and we're doing the job. So, yeah, no, it can only get better, really. And you, you look like you personally are sort of growing in confidence, growing in belief. Am I right in that assessment? Yeah, no, 100%. I think the Gaffer and Stu, they've just put me in there and believed in me and is showing on the pitch and in my own game I think I'm just getting more confident in that central role so yeah well played today mate and uh, thanks for chatting to us thank you